right, guys, I had an okay day today. Um, I should have made even more money. I was one and done trade on X, which you can, <clears throat> excuse me, I lost my voice over the weekend, but um, you can see the trade on the screen here. Um, but it should have been a great day. What happened, the improvement I needed to make on this trade was a lack of patience. So too many partials too quick. And, um, you know, if I would have spaced these out more, I really should have made a lot more money off this trade. But I did make 66% of my daily profit target. Again, more patience. I should have easily hit 100%. Um, but what I saw in X was, um, so I saw, I mean, there's a lot of support in pre-market. <clears throat> this 50, although it did dip below it several times, this 50 kind of was holding in the later stages of uh, the pre-market there. And right at the open, it dipped down, it broke through, and then it just kind of popped back up to around these moving averages and was hovering. And uh, I just like that this was an entry where I had an obvious stop out. And that's really what I shoot for because it gives me more confidence. So I entered here and I said if it lost 24, I was out. <clears throat> it might, it's hard to, it kind of looks like it did, but it never did break 24. So that was my stop out. Um, I started taking partials really rapidly here at this local high of near this pre-market right there. But I took too many. This is, I should have taken, I agree that I should have taken one partial right there. Um, but the other partials I needed to wait on. Um, so lack of patience, but I did, uh, I was patient with the rest of my partials, partialed. I did an ad here, took it back out there, and then out at break, break even here. <clears throat> out at break even here. Now, interesting is some, sometimes I do ads that look successful, but overall are negative. So in this sense, it was a success as in I, I put it on there, I took it off there, I was able to make some profit on it. But what it still did was for my remaining shares, it moved my break even to here from here. So I would have actually, if I had, hadn't added, I would have been able to hold on to this all the way through this pullback and ride it back up, you know, and I still would have had a, a decent share size still in it uh, to see what happens next. So um, this is probably a bad ad. So another thing I need to work on is I'm a little over ambitious with my ads sometimes and it often gets me stopped out in ways that are, you know, overall I make less money on the trade. So more patience, be more careful with my stop outs, but one and done. And uh, I'm happy with this trade overall. More patience though.